Even though celebrities are very much PR trained not to clap back, sometimes they are simply not afraid to speak their minds and come up with incredibly quick-witted responses. Sofia Vergara took a shot at the host's ego when he said if he set foot in Colombia, he was going to be kidnapped. You should go to Colombia. I would, I would love to go. go. I'm afraid I would be kidnapped. No, they don't, they don't even know who you are over there. No, they... In probably one of the most awkward moments of all time, g Easy and Halsey, who were dating at the time, were performing their hit song, Him and I. What people didn't know was that Halsey found out that he cheated on her just before getting on stage and still had to perform. And well, g Easy also didn't know she knew at the time, but there were signs. When Jimmy Kimmel was prying on Steve Harvey's net worth and billionaire status, Steve took the brutally honest route. I, uh -oh. I've just been trying to add it all up. Well, if I was a billionaire, I, I wouldn't be on your show. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure if this is a clapback, but definitely one of the most savage moments of Mark Wahlberg's career. All bean town. <laughs> I was all bean town. So excited what was that giggle? There. During the Jimmy Kimmel Live show, the Avengers cast was doing a fan Q&A when one asked who's the biggest diva in the cast, and she added that she thinks she knows who it is. And well, the response was hilarious. I feel like I know the answer to this, but uh, who is the biggest diva in the whole cast? Yeah, who do you think? Robert. Oh, you think it's Robert? <laughs> Get that <laughs> off the monitor. <laughs> Tom Cruise forgot real life wasn't a movie set for a second when he started crossing the street when the light turned green. But well, he took the humbling experience like a champ and joked about it with a fan. Chrissy Teigen PR team's heart skipped a beat during The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. Oh, guys! I want to cook it. All right, oh my god. <laughs> Whistling to a human being is completely unacceptable and will be seen very disrespectful. When a diner was not happy with her food and was trying to get Gordon Ramsay's attention, she went the worst way about it. Hey, thank you. Hey, get the beer. Chef! Right, don't whistle at me, I'm not your f***ing dog, yeah? You look more like a dog than I do. Seth MacFarlane commented on how the crowds in the UK are big compared to the ones in the US completely backfired. Huge crowd, and like you go to like The Tonight Show in the States and there's like five people in the audience. <laughs> No, that's only when you're there, darling. <laughs> During the Dark Knight Rises press interviews, Anne Hathaway kept getting asked questions about her body and workout routine. And well, on an interview, she finally decided to fire back at the rude question. Any particular workout? Are you trying to lose weight? Well, <laughs> what's what's the deal, man? You look great. No, no, no. I, no, no, seriously. That, we well, have to talk you. about this. What what do you want? Are you trying to fit into a cat suit? Eminem takes stoicism to the next level. Eminem, are you having fun? When celebrity chef Gino DeCampo recipe had to hear one of the host's culinary opinion, he had a great comeback. If it had, like, ham in it, <laughs> it's, oh, no. it's closer, oh, no. it's closer to a British carbonara. Do you agree? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what I mean? If my grandmother had wheels, she would have been a bike. <laughs> you know, what, you know, it's... <laughs> You know, what I so you know, it doesn't make any sense what you said, it's a different recipe. Nashville has long been known as the songwriting capital of the world, and people joke that everyone from there is a singer. And well, Taylor Swift also happens to be from Nashville. My name's Taylor, I'm from Nashville. All right. Mm. Nashville. Mm. Taylor, what do you do for a living in Nashville? Uh, I'm a singer. <laughs> of course you are. <laughs> a singer. Here and you live in Nashville, you're probably a songwriter too. Yeah, and I have six Grammys, too. Oh. It's well known that a big controversy surrounding Hillary Clinton is an alleged deletion of thousands of emails. Zach Galifianakis made sure to make the end of the interview memorable. Well, this has been a lot of fun, Mrs. Clinton. We should stay in touch. What's the best way to reach you? Email? In Beyond Scared Straight, young delinquents are taken to a prison to experience a day in prison in order to scare them from committing crimes again. But one of the at-risk youths didn't seem too scared. No, no, no. Come on. Come on. Huh? I can't. Why you can't? Because the door's not open all the way. Maybe don't try to flex your Twitter followers to one of the biggest celebrities in the world. Uh, exploded. I mean, how many followers have you got on Twitter? Because I'm not bragging, but I've got four million. That's amazing. Uh, it is amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> I have 20. Okay, no one should ever do this considering paper has tons of chemicals and toxins. But during the David Letterman show, Lady Gaga wasn't too keen on the questions Letterman was asking and just ate the questions he prepared. This one. Uh, what, what did you... Oh, no, 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 no. 
After Kourtney Kardashian went to visit her sister's new house, she gave a sarcastic remark about her decor choices, and Chloe was not having it. You choose black covers for your furniture. It's disgusting. Seriously, what the f is wrong with you? Why are you so bitchy these days? Just I'm born. Despite Kevin Hart getting a 585 on his SATs and getting rejected from almost every college, he still made it in life and had something to say about college. I don't have a college degree, but I do have a yacht. I guess we're even education. During a fan Q&A with Tom Holland, Anthony Mackie, and Sebastian Stan, it was apparent that all the audience were only fans of Tom Holland and were being extremely rude, causing Sebastian and Anthony to lose patience. And well, one of the fans actually tried making a comeback to Anthony and it went horribly wrong. It's my friend Iris that I... Y'all got a lot of friends. I'm sorry. <laughs> Where your friends at? <laughs> sorry. Friends may be a term you don't know. <laughs> I don't know the term friends. I know the term family. When stuff, when stuff get tight, when stuff get tight, let me see where your friend at. When Kourtney Kardashian, who is Scott Disick's ex, hired a very good-looking lifeguard, everyone found it a little weird, and Scott particularly had a lot to say. This guy really a lifeguard. I mean. When's he saving lives? He's in like the gym all day. A rude interviewer was bringing up weird questions to Ariana Grande, such as how does it feel to look younger than you are, and then all of a sudden brought a random comment someone tweeted. And well, Ariana Grande was quick to fire back. If when you go to McDonald's people give you crowns, which seems cruel to me, do you... Does I don't it go to McDonald's. Does it bother you that, that, does it bother you at all? <laughs> Helen Mirren is known to be 50 Cent's celebrity crush for a long time now. So when Stephen Colbert tried to flex he kissed Helen, he learned that he can't out this 50. Hard for you to watch knowing that you got a crush on Helen Mirren, but I am kissing I just Helen was, Mirren. I was just wondering how your wife felt about that. <laughs> When a host tried roasting a contestant, it completely backfired. And you're still looking like Cher. <laughs> well, she looks good for her age, unlike some people. <laughs> At the Graham Norton show, guest Jim Carrey paid a textbook definition of a backhanded compliment to Margot Robbie. And I wanted to talk to you because you're amazing and I'm so excited for you. Oh, it's thanks. incredible that you've gotten as far as you have with your obvious physical disadvantages. <laughs> That's just pure talent there. Just a talent overlie there. Comedy Central hosts every year a roast of a celebrity, and in 2019 it was Justin Bieber, and most of the jokes from the hosts were about him looking like a lesbian. This was Justin's response. What do you get when you give a teenager $200 million? A bunch of has-beens calling you a lesbian for two hours. An interviewer went too far when she asked Kim Kardashian how much money she made from a game she released, and Kim just made it clear that she did well from it. How much money did you make from it, personally? <laughs> <laughs> what, um, are those numbers that were written about correct or close? This I was think $70 so. million. Dollars. <laughs> but it could be more, it could be less. Oh. <laughs> it's been. Even though Andrew Garfield and journalist Amelia Dime Oldenburg has incredible chemistry during an interview, he couldn't help but too savagely reject her in the middle of it. I don't want to see you in these kinds of situations. What about other kinds of situations? I'm not interested. Gonna... Not interested. <laughs> during BBC's Playground Insults, Seth surprisingly didn't come up with many roasts for Chloe Grace Moretz, but it was still hilarious. Your face stuff smells like garbage. Your beard smells like the sewer. Quick return from... I don't care for this game. James Franco went a little too far during an interview with Nicki Minaj when he tried to argue the name of her song with her. Say we can agree to disagree, but I... No, we can't agree to disagree. Well, there it's are a fact. lot of people that read it as superb ass. I've never heard anyone call it that. You're making the... I know, like, I could name, like, five people, cool. like, right name now, them. they're, like... Like, my friends, and, you know, they're all... After a very bizarre insult to Zendaya via Twitter, she responded in the most Zendaya way possible. Nope. Smells like success to me. 